Magnetic force doesn't require any contact to act on an object. It's a field force. It's like magic. Let's explore the invisible force. We take a bar magnet and keep it in middle of a drawing board. Then we sprinkle some iron powder around it and tap the board gently. The iron powder would create a pattern similar to this. This pattern really has a deep significance. See, biggest portion of the powder got attracted towards the pole. Those are actually representing magnetic field lines. The region surrounding a magnet within which its magnetic force acts is said to have a magnetic field. This is our Earth's magnetic field. Our Earth is a huge magnet. Now, like any other force, magnetic force has both quantity and direction. That force actually works along these invisible lines in magnetic field. That is why iron dust aligned along these lines under influence of magnetic force. Now visualize the magnetic field lines. It emerges from North Pole and merges at South Pole. They are closed curves. The strength of magnetic field at any point depends on density of magnetic lines around it. Look, near the pole, lines are very close to each other. If we take any point near the pole, there would be many magnetic lines around it. That's why magnetic force is strong there. And near the middle of the magnet, magnetic lines are far away from each other. So magnetic field is pretty weak near the middle of the magnet. Magnetic lines never cross each other. Now Hans Christian Ørsted accidentally put a compass near wire carrying electricity and found that compass needle got deflected. Thus he discovered electromagnetism that is the discovery that electricity flow creates magnetic field. And today electromagnetism is used everywhere in motors, fans, doorbells, loudspeakers, storage devices like hard disk. So sometimes accidents are good. Imagine, this is a current carrying conductor. I hold it in my right hand such that the thumb points towards the direction of the current. Then my fingers will wrap around the conductor in this direction. Now this is also the direction of magnetic field. This rule is known as right hand thumb rule. Now this is a loop made of a conductor. A small part of, a, of this loop would be a straight line. At this point we apply right hand thumb rule. Direction of the current is this. So thumb is pointing towards the direction of current. So magnetic field is in this direction. Let's find the direction of the magnetic current at this point. Our thumb pointing towards the direction of the current. The direction in which our finger wraps around the conductor is the direction of the magnetic field. That is in this direction. This is how the magnetic field looks like in a loop. The circle representing the magnetic lines gets bigger and bigger towards the center. By the time they reach the middle of the loop, the circles become so big that the arc of this big circle looks like a straight line right here. Now remember, we used to wrap wire around the iron bar to make it, make it a magnet. We called it a solenoid. Now direction of the current would be same in every loop of a solenoid. Hence magnetic field direction is same for every loop. Means magnetic field because of different loops gets add up and creates a very powerful magnetic field. In fact if there is n turns the field produced is n times as large as that produced by a single turn. That is n times stronger than a magnetic field produced by a single turn. If we put an iron bar inside this solenoid, it would turn into magnet under influence of this magnetic field. This process is called magnetic induction. So now you know the nature of magnetic field created by electric current.